kids. This video is designed to help you get started on the topic 1-4 practice. It is just a help video to help refresh your memory as to what we went over in class, okay? When you're doing this paper on your own. Now, first thing I want to emphasize is that when you are evaluating numeric expressions, it is all about the order of operations. And in this lesson, we added brackets to the order of operations. So now the order of operations, the new order of operations is, first you do what is in brackets, look for parentheses inside the brackets or outside, then you do exponents, then you divide or multiply from left to right, and then you subtract or add from left to right as well. You can use a calculator because remember, if I don't want you to use a calculator, I will set up problems where the calculator won't help you anyways. All right, here is an example of what we went over the day before, and it talks about using the brackets. And once you are inside the brackets, you follow the order of operations. So again, when we went over this problem in class, we saw that the first thing we do is we multiply the 9 times 4 tenths and we get 3 and 6 tenths. Second thing that we do is we're still inside there, inside the brackets, and we multiply 3 times 8 tenths and we get 2 and 4 tenths. Then the third thing we do is we would then take our 3 and 6 tenths and add it to our 2 and 4 tenths and we would get 6. So at this point, we are now done with everything in our brackets, and our answer for the brackets is 6. So our fourth thing, we go outside of the brackets, and we evaluate 2 and 3 tenths to the second, which would be 2 and 3 tenths times 2 and 3 tenths, and we would get 5 and 29 hundredths. Then we would take 6 and multiply 6, the value within the brackets, times 1 and 2 tenths, and we get 7 and 2 tenths. And the final thing we would do is we would take the value we got when we did our exponent, which is the 5 and 29 hundredths, add it to the 7 and 2 tenths, and we would get our final answer. And that's how we would do the order of operations using brackets. Now we're going to review a couple problems. Okay, but before we do, here's some tips for doing your homework. When you set up your homework tonight for topic 1-5, you're going to show your work on notebook paper. Paper is cheap in math, so don't be afraid to use it. You want to record your steps. Give each problem plenty of space. Number the problem and write it out. This helps you see it before starting it. That's a great way to get your most of your brain functioning on the problem right from the beginning. Record each step of the problem as you go, even if you're using a calculator. And it says use a calculator to complete the steps if needed. And then be sure to check your work once you are all completely done. So those are important tips for when you're doing your homework. Here is how you would actually show your homework. If you get a problem such as this, you have your notebook paper, you would write the problem out completely on your paper. Make sure you are being very, very accurate when you do this. Because if your accuracy in recording the problem is off, then of course your answer will be off. Now in this problem, you're going to have to show your work, and you can use a calculator as you do this. Okay, so I'm going to bring up my calculator and just put it over here. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do, the first step, there's no brackets, there's no parentheses, but there is an exponent. And that would be 3 to the 3rd. 3 to the 3rd equals 3 times 3 times...
times 3, or the final product of 27. So now we know that we have 27. Okay? Second operation that we do, we see that we have addition in our problem, but we're not going to do addition. We're going to do multiplying or division first, and we do have multiplying. So the next step is 4 and 2 tenths times 8. And so I will use my calculator for this. 4 and 2 tenths times 8 equals 33 and 6 tenths. Our third step, we still have some division and multiplying. So we're going to take the 33 and 6 tenths and divide it by the 0 and 2 tenths. Again, we're going to use the calculator for this. 33 and 6 tenths divided by 0 and 2 tenths equals 168. Now we're not done yet. We have a fourth step and this is the final step of looking for multi or looking for addition or subtraction left to right and in this case we can see that we have to take the value of 3 to the third which is 27 add it to what we got all the way over here which is 168 and we get our final answer so 168 plus 27 equals 195 for this problem. So when we evaluate that expression, that's how we do the steps, and that's how we get our final answer. So when you do your homework, this is what you want your problem to look like. Okay, you set up the problem, skip a space, do the work along the way using a calculator. Now, to help you understand a little bit more, we're going to go over a few problems that you'll see tonight. Okay, the first problem that you're going to see is this problem. Okay, now the answer to this problem is 18 and 2 tenths. Take a look at that problem and see if you can figure out what steps to put on your paper. Okay, so you'll set the problem up like this one, and you know what your answer needs to be. All right, here's the first step. The first thing you would do is multiply 3 and 1 tenths times 5. That's because it's inside of parentheses, it's multiplication, and it comes before the adding. The next step you would do would be the adding within the parentheses, and you would add the factor, the product you have here, with the adding you have there. So now, everything in parentheses is done, and this would be the answer in parentheses. Then we evaluate 6 to the second, and that would be 6 times 6, and that's 36. Then we take 36 and we subtract 17 and 8 tenths and we get our final answer. Okay, another problem you'll see is this one. Take a moment and see if you can figure out the steps to that problem. Well, the answer to this problem is 27 and 3 tenths. Do, did you figure out the steps correctly? Here they are. First, what you would do is 8 minus 3 and 7 tenths. And that's because it's inside the brackets, in parentheses, and ready to go. Now, we're still inside the brackets, and we have another operation of multiplication to do. So we're going to take this answer, this difference, and we're going to multiply it by 6. Then 
we get to do our addition. Everything that was inside the brackets will equal 25 and 8 tenths, and we will add that to this final amount there, and we will get our 27 and 3 tenths. Why don't you write that paper down on your notebook paper, that problem down on your notebook paper, and see if you can solve it. Pause the video and see if you can do this one on your own. All right, here comes the answer. The answer when you evaluate this expression is 76. Here are the steps for solving this expression. First, you would start with what's inside the brackets, like so. And then you see you have parentheses in the brackets, and you have multiplication. So you would do 40, you would do 4 and 2 tenths times 3 and 4 tenths, and you would get 14 and 28 hundredths inside the parentheses. Then you would take the 14 and 28 hundredths and subtract the 9 and 28 hundredths and you would get 5 and that represents the value inside the bracket. The next thing we do is we take 9 and we evaluate the exponents for its terms and we would get 81. And then the final operation would be to subtract the value of the brackets, which is 5, 81 minus 5. Okay, the next problem. See if you can solve that problem. Pause the video, see if you can figure it out. All right, here's the answer, and see if you have the right steps. Well, our first step is to go inside the brackets, and inside the brackets, you'll see that we have an exponent that we have to evaluate. So we would do 2 to the second and get a value of 4. Now we're still inside the brackets and still inside parentheses, so now we're going to do some subtraction, and we're going to do the 12 minus the value of 2 to the second, which would give us 8 and 6 tenths. Then we will multiply because we're still inside the brackets and we would multiply what we came up with in parentheses, the 8 and 6 tenths, by 6 tenths and we would get 5 and 16 hundredths. Then we go outside of the brackets and we see we have an exponent. This exponent is 3 and 2 tenths times 3 and 2 tenths. And that would be 10 and 24 hundredths. So now the only operation left to do is the subtraction of the value of the exponent to take away everything we got in the brackets. Okay? And that would be the 5 and 16 hundredths. And so that's how we come up with our answer. Okay, see if you can solve this problem. Pause the video and give it a try. All right, the answer to this problem is four, 42 and 9 tenths. So in this case, you can see that we do have brackets, and then inside the brackets, we have a set of parentheses, a set of parentheses, and then we have some operations within those. So the first thing we have to do is multiply 3 tenths times 8, and we get 2 and 4 tenths. So now we're done with that. Next, we do 1 and 5 tenths times 3. And when we do that, we get 4 and 5 tenths. Then we go on and we add what it is that we've come up with. And when we add 2 and 4 tenths to 4 and 5 tenths, we get 6 and 9 tenths. Alright? Sorry about that phone ringing, kids. Now, 
we evaluate 6 to the second, and we get 36. And then we can add the 6 and 9 tenths to 36. So we finish up with this operation right there. Give this problem a try. Here we go. You can see that we have a set of brackets. And inside the brackets, we have parentheses. So the first thing that we want to do is 8 times 2 tenths. So now we're done with what's in parentheses. So now we're still in the brackets, and we have to do 9 and 6 tenths, take away the answer that we got in here. So we're going to subtract. And we end up with a value of 8. So now all we have to do is 40 divided by 8. 40 divided by the 8 we got from all the values and operations within the brackets. And our answer is 5. Okay. One more problem to help you get started on your homework. See if you can solve that problem. Okay, here's the answer to this problem. 195. Notice that there's no brackets and there's no parentheses. But there is an exponent that we have to evaluate. And that would be 3 to the 3rd, which is 27. So then we skip over the addition to the multiplication operation. And we will do 4 and 2 tenths times 8. Then we see that we have division that we have to do. So the, what we got here, 33 and 6 tenths, we will now divide by 2 and we get 168. Now we go back from left to right, and we see that we have addition. So we take the value of our exponent, 27, and we add it to the value of 4 and 2 tenths. Okay, we take that, all of this, and all of that, and we do the next operation and add it up to 168 and we get 195. All right, hopefully this video helps you out, kids, and helps you understand.